Hi there folks, welcome to Get Strumming. Now today we're going to have a look at the song Does Your Chewing Gum Lose Its Flavour on the Bedpost Overnight? Now this was a novelty song recorded by the King of Skiffle himself, Lonnie Donegan, way back in 1959. And it was um, released in the UK in 1959 and I think in America uh, in 61. So um, the song goes like this. Oh me, oh my, oh you, whatever shall I do? Hallelujah, the question is peculiar. I'd give a lot of dough if only I could know. The answer to my question, is it yes or is it no? Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bed? overnight if your mother says don't chew it do you swallow it in spite can you catch it on your tonsils can you leave it left and right does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bed post overnight here comes the blushing bride the groom is by her side up to the altar just a steady as Gibraltar now the groom has got the ring and it's such a pretty thing But as he slips it on a finger The choir begins to sing Does your chewing gum lose its flavor On the bedpost overnight? If your mother says don't chew it Do you swallow it in spite? Can you catch it on your tonsils? Can you eat it left and right? Does your chewing gum Overnight, now the nation rises one to send their only son up to the White House. Yes, the nation's only White House to voice their discontent unto the president upon this burning question. What a swept this continent does your chewing gum lose its flavor? your mother says don't chew it, do you swallow it in spite? Can you catch it on your tonsils? Can you leave it left and right? Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? On the bedpost overnight? There we go. So, as I say, a bit of a novelty song there from uh, Lonnie Donegan. Now, this is my own arrangement, so it might differ a little bit to uh, Lonnie's uh, original version, but it, uh, you get the general idea. It's probably a more simplified version. That being the case, I've decided yet again to put it in the, C of, uh, the key of C major. So, here we go. So, the chords we're using are as follows. Use your third finger on the third fret first string. That's your C major chord. Then you've got G7, so using your first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, third string, third finger, second fret, first string. Then we move on to an F major, first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string. We've also got a bit of uh, D7, so you've got your first finger across the second fret, across all the strings, third finger, third fret, first string. And we've also got a little bit of G major. So using your first finger, second fret, third string, second finger, second fret, first string, third finger, third fret, second string. So next we need to look at the strumming. So what am I doing there? I'm literally doing a touch, down, up, down, up, down, up, touch, down, up, down, up, down. And then obviously, once you get the pattern in your head and in your finger, then you can speed it up a little bit. Keep your wrist really loose as well. So what you're doing is you're using the tip of your finger just to touch the bottom string there, like flick it almost, and then down, up, down, up, down, up. So you're doing three down-ups, touch, down, up, down, up, 
down a touch, down and down and down a touch, down and down and down and down and speed it up. Or if you find that a little bit complicated, which some beginners would do, um, what you can do is just keep it simple, do simple downstrokes. Oh me, oh my, oh you, whatever shall I do? So downstrokes are touch down, up, down, up, down, up. Either strumming pattern works just as well. Okay then, so what we're gonna do is start off with a couple of bars on C major. Oh me, oh, and then we go to G7. My, oh, back to C, you. Whatever, G7, shall I, back to C, do. Then to F. Ali, C, Luya, the G7. Question is per, then to C. Julia, I'd give a G7, Lord of C, do. If only G7 I could see, no. The, now we go to a D7 and just one strum. The answer to my, another strum. Question, is it, another strum. Yes or is it G7? No, does your, then we go to the C now. Chewing gum lose its flavour on the G7 bedpost overnight. If your mother says don't chew it, do you back to C? Swallow it in spite. Can your F catch it on your G7? Tonsils, can your C heave it left and F right? Does your C? Chewing gum lose its flavour on the D7, bed post G7, over, back to C, night. Now we're into the next verse, so we're still on the C, here comes the G7, blushing, back to C, bride. The groom is G7, by her C, side, then to F, up to the C, Alter just as G7, steady as G, C, Bralter, now the groomers, G7, got the C, ring, and it's such a G7, pretty C, thing, but D7, as he puts it, slips it even, upon a finger, the choir begins to G7. Sing, does your... Now back into the chorus, so we go back to the C. Chewing gum lose its flavour on the G7. Bed post overnight. If your mother says don't chew it, do you see? Swallow it in spite. Can you F? Catch it on your G7, tonsils, can you see? Heave it left and F right, does your C? Chewing gum lose its flavour on the D7, bed post G7, over, back to C, night. Now we're going to go into the third verse now. So again, we stay on the C major. Now the nation G7. Rises C one to send a G seven only C sun then F up to the C white hours yes the G seven nations only C white house to voice their G seven disc on C tent but not onto the G seven. Prezi, C, bent, a D7, upon the burning question that has swept this county, G7, Nent, does your, then back to C, chewing gum lose its flavour on the G7, bed post overnight, if your mother says don't chew it, do you back to see? 
Swallow it in spite. Can you F? Can't cheat on your G7. Tonsils, can you see? Leave it left and F right. Does you see? Chewing gum lose its flavour on the D7. Bed post G7 over C night. On the. Now we kind of string out the last line. So we're going to go to the D7. Bed post. Then G7. Over. Then to C. Nine G7 C And there you go. And does your chewing gum lose its flavour on the bedpost overnight? And as I say, this was uh, part of a rich kind of catalogue of novelty songs that came out mainly in the 1950s, but in particularly in the 1960s. You had a whole plethora of songs like uh, Goodness Gracious Me by Peter Sellers, Hole in the Ground, Bernard Cribbins, right, said Fred. Um, some other ones like Benny Hill as well, he came out with Ernie and the fastest milk float in the West. Um, uh, there's just so many of them. Uh, does, my, does your boomerang come back? Oh, my boomerang won't come back by Charlie Drake. Although that might be a little bit sort of... Uh, a little bit of a contentious song nowadays to play, but you get the idea. All these uh, kind of novelty songs came out in the uh, 60s, 50s and 60s. So if you've got any other uh, kind of ideas for novelty songs that you'd like me to teach you, I've already done the Bernard Cribbin songs, but if there are any others out there, just leave me a message in the comment section. Take care for now. Bye bye.